Hello viewers, welcome once more today on YouTube channel. Uh, it is a pleasure to have you always watching, following us up. Thanks a lot for those who have already subscribed and uh, we plead for those who have never subscribed to subscribe, like, share and comment on our page and click on the notification button for more information. So today, oh, we decided to go and purchase fingerlings for a new fish pond. So we are here at a fishery center located here in the southwest region of Cameroon. That is Boya, precisely in Sampit. So, we came here today to see if we could get some fingerlings for a newly fish pond. Yeah, we could see that the production center has mostly catfish. Uh, catfish as you can see so we begin first by purchasing the catfish then we let on, on move on to where we could get also fingerlings of uh, tilapia especially the dark and the reddish color so today we decided to purchase about 200 fingerlings of catfish in order to start our fish pond farming The one of the things that uh, we decided to do was to purchase almost mature sizes. Yeah, almost mature sizes, not completely the fingerlings of about two weeks or one month. So yeah, we're gonna we, we're gonna buy the mature ones for about two months. And they have so that we should not have a lot of difficulties in raising them up since it's our first experience yeah wow look at how it's pretty good <laughs> it's not easy to to hold them yeah you see that one alone was weighing about 230 grams so that's a pretty good size for two months fingerling yeah so we're trying to weigh them so that we could see the size of the weight yeah this one is giving 230 grams so Uh, between 203 and 404 so that is the weight for this catfish of two months interesting that shows that uh, that being well nourished and taken good care of so the weight shows that they're in good health okay there it goes that is counting the number of finger of fishes that we have to take yeah they're very slippery one of the things that is uh, is good to know about this uh, species of fish 
is that uh, it is very resistant yeah it is very resistant to the atmosphere or the environment especially when it is in a conducive area that it enables it to grow well yeah Okay, we are done counting the number of catfish that we have to take. Yeah, that's about 150. And uh, this number is um, about a hundred of which we've already taken. Yeah. So there it goes. We got more in order to complete the number which we need. Okay. So, it is good to know that uh, concerning the, the prices here in uh, Cameroon, this sizes of cartridge uh, costs about uh, 250 francs to 300. So, without having a hundred, it's affordable for a good start so now we've left the place of uh, the catfish we've gone now to the other parts of the fish center where we could get tilapias that is the dark and red one yeah what we aspect is that they are more smaller than the catfish which we first purchased yeah watch yeah oh we caught but uh, the big one yeah I want to have already arrived at the age of uh, consumption. Okay. Now here are the fingerlings. Yeah. Yeah, these ones are the red tilapia. Yeah, you can see. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we decided to take uh, about 50 of them. 50. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, there was that tilapia. That one is too big. So this one uh, will cost about a hundred to two one fifty francs. So the more we could get, the more opportunities we had to discuss or negotiate the price. Oh. That one has gone back into the water. There's no one to go into the bucket. <laughs> oh. The things are very swift. We're told that these ones are these don't like stress. So. 
It's very, they are very delicate. It needs to be very fast in order not to stress them up because the more you stress them up, they, they might die. One just fell down, so that's what uh, we're trying to look for. <laughs> it is not easy eh, to see them, especially inside grass. Oh, yeah. So, there we go. Okay. Wow. There is that song. Okay. Oh. They're very slippery. They always look for the least way to run away okay so we are going to put them into the container which will be transported to our farm So now we're going to get now the the dark tilapia. Yeah, there they are. Oh, it's massive that one died due to stress. Oh, one has fallen down again. In the fall, I had this side of the grass, it's not easy to see them. Mm -hmm. So, you know the sizes which we will start with. Wow. <laughs> oh, one just slipped away. These are very swift. Oh, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> okay, there we go. The container doesn't have to be sealed completely in order to enable air circulate within it. So, there we go. We are taking them now to our farm. That is Otto's farm. So viewers, as we embark on this new journey on fishing, so please stay tuned and keep on watching uh updates videos which will come from our farm especially on poetry farming and now fishery farming so from time to time we'll be giving updates on the growth of our fish our fishes since we have the catfish and the tilapia so that is it so yeah we, we have we arrived at our farm <laughs> the first thing we do is to wash our hands disinfect our feet before getting into the farm in order to curb the spread of bacteria from outside the farm into the farm 
so we take precautions since we have poetry and kibri on this farmland so there we go oh yeah we have, we've arrived uh, at our fish pond which is located to uh, just behind our fish our poetry farm or poetry housing so there we go wow here they come these are the, the red tilapias which are being released and also the dark tilapia which are being released into the fish pond which we recently made so this is our first fish fishes which we installing at our poultry farm or at on our farmland so interesting wow these are the, the catfish wow there they are oh interesting wow <laughs> we're just so excited about the new comb a new arrival of farming into our farmland so this is interesting wow okay there you can see as the fish it's the catfish are just spreading around the, the fish pond. So interesting. Oh, there they are. Already setting. Installed. Okay. Thanks viewers for watching. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. For those who have never subscribed, you can click on the notification button. For more updates from my poetry farm, photos farms.